I've spent many a moon searching for the perfect character. I've sailed countless seas and crossed scorching deserts. I've scaled the tallest of mountains and plunged into the darkest of depths. Some say I'm crazy, others say I'm foolish. But is it crazy or foolish when your final goal is to make a somewhat decent fictional character? You know, probably, I guess, but you know, regardless. After years and years of hard work and sacrifice, I have finally created such a character. But why can I come up with a good name? Seriously though, coming up with names for your OC, or any character for that matter, is no easy feat. Especially in the MLP universe, with so many creative and interesting names for the characters, it could be a bit of a daunting task to come up with a name that not only sounds nice, but fits your character to a T. From a glance, it may seem really easy to think of a name for your character, however, you may quickly find that the names you come up with don't quite match your character, or simply just don't sound right. So in this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on making a good name for your OC, so let's get into it! Well first things first, you need to know who your character is. Well okay, you probably know who they are, but do you really know who they are? And by this, I mean personality. What they like, what they don't like, how they act in certain situations, and what makes them tick. All of this is crucial to the creation of the perfect name for your character. You see, names in MLP aren't quite like the names in real life. Think of the name Jim for example, and who do you imagine? Chances are you were thinking of someone famous with the name, like Jim Carrey. Or maybe you have a friend whose name is Jim, and you probably associate the personalities of the Jims you know of with the name. But really, the name Jim gives you absolutely no idea as to what a person with that name is like. Pony names, on the other hand, are a little different. Unlike human names, pony names sometimes describe, if not vaguely, what the character is like. For example, Fluttershy has the word shy right in her name, which is one of her more common character traits. It also has the word flutter, which could allude to her limited flying ability, but that might be a stretch. As well, Rainbow Dash has the word dash in her name, which would indicate her ability and passion for racing and going fast. Now this isn't to say that pony names are always based off of the character's personality, and in a fair few cases, their names have actually nothing to do with their personalities. However, it makes things much easier and gives you far more to work with if you know and understand your character and their personality. So make sure you know who your character is, what they're like, and how they act before you look into naming them. Furthermore, the visuals, what the character looks like, is extremely important to consider when thinking of a name for your character. If you've created an OC, then there's a very good chance that you have a fairly strong idea as to what the character looks like. Perhaps this is the very first thing you looked at in the creation process. Simply put, the visuals of a character in MLP are a really strong influence as to what the character should be named. Rainbow Dash has a rainbow colored mane, Pinkie Pie is pink, Limestone and Marble Pie are colored like limestone and marble respectively, Sunset Shimmer is colored like a sunset, and the list goes on. Pony names often are based around what the character or individual looks like. If you know what your character's visuals are, then this gives you an excellent opportunity to come up with a great name for your OC. So try using this to your advantage if you're stuck on a name for your character. So now you might be thinking, well I know the personality of my character, and I know what my character looks like, so why don't I use both to come up with the best name ever? And to that I say you get a gold star. Pony names can and do oftentimes consist of two words, so this could allow you to use one word to describe the character's personality, and the other word could be used to describe what the character looks like. Now this is obviously just a suggestion, but you'd be surprised at how well this method works. Another way to look at this is to use the type of pony your character is to your advantage. For example, you wouldn't necessarily give an earth pony who loves baking a name like Soaring Skies, or name a blue unicorn who despises music Red Symphony. The fact is, each pony type tends to have names based on their talents and abilities, so when thinking up a name for your OC, it can often be a great help to look at the type of pony your character is, and try to make a name that fits around what your OC can do. The meaning of the name is very important when creating a good name for your character, so it helps to look for names that would fit your OC. So by this point, you've looked at your OC's personality, what they look like, and what their abilities and traits are, and perhaps you may have even come up with a couple of possible names for your character. But what if you still don't like the choices you have? Well, try sounding it out. 
This might sound unnecessary, but oftentimes a name might sound fine when you read it in your head, but when you read it out loud, you might get a different result. So try reading the names out loud two or three times and see if that helps. As well, names that have two words or more that begin with the same letter oftentimes sound the best, especially in the MLP universe. Double Diamond, Sassy Saddles, Daring Do, Sunset Shimmer. All of these names begin with the same letter in front of each word, which often sounds really nice. However, be really careful when taking this route, as you start to make your character sound a little like a superhero. Another great tip is to try to make a name that's completely new, something that hasn't been used. It's very tempting to take plenty of inspiration from other characters whose names you like, but the best names are the ones that you come up with on your own. So be creative and don't be afraid to really try new things when it comes to naming your OC. Furthermore, if this OC represents yourself, then you want to make sure that the name is significant in meaning to you. In other words, you want to choose a name that's worth fighting for. And this could be a whole host of different possibilities. For example, I chose the name Tyndega because that's where I grew up. It's significant to me, and as such, I really relate to the name. So if you do take this route, don't be afraid to be really creative. You might be surprised at some of the awesome names you can come up with. Another great tip is to try to go to someone else and ask for their opinion on the name of the character. Whether this be a friend or a family member, whoever it may be, you'll likely be surprised at some of the excellent names others can come up with. Try giving them a picture and ask them what the character's name should be, or give them a description and see what names they choose. Now just as a bit of a side note, there are such things as name generators, and even ones for MLP characters. There's a link in the description to one of the ones that I felt worked the best. Now while this is an option, I don't recommend always using this, as the names tend to be very generic. However, that's not to say that you can't take some inspiration from the suggested names. So if you're stumped, then this isn't a bad place to look. Okay, so I've just shown you a whole bunch of different techniques and tricks to help assist you in making that perfect name for your OC. But even so, you still might not have that name for your OC that you've been looking for. Ultimately though, as I said at the beginning of this video, coming up with a name for a character is very difficult, and there really is no set formula when it comes to this sort of thing. But there's a reason why I didn't simply list off various names that I thought were good. Every character is unique, and when it comes to your character, it's important that the name you choose is one that you enjoy, and one that you're proud of. But now I want to hear from you. What names have you come up with, and how did you come up with those names? Let me know in the comment section below, I always love hearing what you have to say. So with that, I think that's all for this video, and with any luck, you now have the perfect name for your OC. So thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like. As well, don't forget to subscribe, it helps support me for free, and it only takes a click. So once again, I hope you enjoyed, this is Tyndega, signing out.